Hello and welcome to uh, a rookie's vlog. Each night, each evening, I'm going to do a little piece to camera about uh, what it's like around your first order France. It's an achievement just to be at the Tour de France, isn't it? And just to be selected, you know, each team has somewhere in the region of 25-ish riders that they can only pick eight. So just to be here in a team is an achievement in itself. It was an incredible experience. Um, yeah, everything that everyone hypes the Tour de France up to be is true um, and potentially more. I've probably not had the... Um, the conventional uh, early stages of the career that I probably wanted and you know maybe what I, I maybe needed turned professional at 1920 sort of thing um, I spent two years on a team and then was dropped from that team for no particular reason I was never given a, uh, a reason into why um, I spent a year back in amateur levels before going to a pro continental team again during the Covid pandemic and then the pandemic had such an influence on the team it actually uh, forced the team into administration um, so <laughs> that team stopped um, and, no, and teams weren't really taking on any new riders at that point so then I went back to what you classify as an amateur team before getting in touch with Charlie and, and JV about the opportunity of coming here. I did think, I thought maybe that you know as a young lad that I, I'd have one of those careers where you know it was almost like you, you you were on the conveyor belt, therefore you just get taken along it. Um, and yeah, I think it's probably fallen on and off the conveyor belt quite a number of times. And it's sort of, yeah, getting back on it is yeah, quite difficult, really. Yeah, sort of highs to lows. And I think potentially that's what the Tour de France is and what bike racing is and how bike racing works, um, is you have to have the lows to have the highs. Just doing my evening post uh, post meal car park walk, and uh, see all the cars cars lined up here. The bus uh, Owen in his food truck. There was a few times that I was sort of dabbling with the concept of retirement, and it's strange because a lot you hear a lot of professional athletes say that they can't really come to terms with the concept of retirement. That it, it's not something that they're quite ready for. But I think I was the polar opposite. I was done with cycling, I was done with racing. I didn't want anything to do with it. Um, and it was other people, it was friends and family that that actually said, you gotta keep going, you can't stop, you're too young, all these sort of things. Um, and it's quite hard to believe a lot of people because I'd lost a lot, a lot of faith in myself. Um, and a lot of other people were saying, oh, like, you're too good to stop where I didn't, I didn't believe that I was sort of the mindset of I've got myself to this point therefore it's my fault sort of thing. Other people around me that had sort of seen me grow up through cycling that said no you can't, they weren't gonna let me stop it was like they were gonna make sure that I gave it my best shot before hanging up the race wheels. We're about to hit the hit the big mountains now, which is really exciting. I've been trying to sort of play my cards close to my chest and uh, not purposely lose time, but you know, stay out of trouble and uh, stay safe. Um, so far, so now we're ready for two days of big hit outs. Um, so yeah, excited. Stage five of uh, a rookie's Tour de France vlog and the Tour de France has definitely started. Um, real hard day um, in the mountains, in the Pyrenees. Sorry if I look a little bit weathered. Going in with a bang and we've got the same again tomorrow. Uh, for me, I just tried to keep my powder dry, wait for tomorrow. I'm biding my time, I'm choosing my day and uh, when my day comes, I'll be sure to empty the tank. Riding along in in the bunch, and I was thinking, oh, this is this is what a breakaway looks like in the Tour de France. This is this is what cycling's all about, isn't it?
James is uh, paving the way for his uh, for his future today. I mean, he showed how good he is, how good he can be in the mountains. Six people are going to move in this group. Okay, James, you have to swallow. You have super, super legs, and these are the best in the world. And you are in the game with them. It's a real breakthrough ride for you. Yeah, pretty, uh, yeah, what's the word? Landmark, mine's lightly sort of moment. Um, yeah, fifth on the stage of the tour. Going up the road on the, and being in the lead group at the top of the Tourmalet, being chased by the best riders, best riders in the world. Um, so yeah, you do sort of have to look back and think, oh yeah, that's, that's pretty cool, you know. This. I think ultimately it comes down to uh, how much you want to, you want it, you know. If how much you're going to willing to take the hits, like they said in, in Rocky, uh, he said it's not about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. Okay, you have super, super legs, and these are the best in the world, and you are in the game with them. Uh, as you see, it's dark now. I just had dinner. Um, <clears throat> but a pretty good day for me, all in all. Pretty good day, fifth on the stage, which is obviously a real good result, really happy with. Really hard day, really hard day. The speed on the climbs was relentless and uh, yeah, it was really tough. But uh, yeah, no, we did well, the team went well, Nielsen's back in polka dot. Um, yeah, as you can see, maybe you can't see UAE celebrating, I guess they've got a lot to celebrate about. Yeah, tomorrow we start again, uh, flat tomorrow. Um, I know I said I'd show you what we have for dinner, but <clears throat> we've got a bit, a bit caught up in the chaos, so sorry you missed that. Um, but if you've got any ideas of things you want to see, um, and you could direct message me on Instagram, at, at jameshaw96, um, because it's day six, I'm running out of things to tell you and show you. So, <laughs> I've got a long way to go. Uh, probably not going to make a life <coughs> as a vlogger influencer.